At Big Cypress Elementary, a teacher is changing how her students take charge of their own learning. Stacy Broida's third grade class is learning more than the basics. They're learning to embrace challenges through perseverance and grit with her best practice of fixed versus growth mindset. What does your right side of your brain control? Artsy. The artsy side and the left side? School. Is your school side. What do we call the part of the brain that connects the left and the right side? Good, corpus callosum. My best practice was called We Got Grit, and it's based on the research done by Carol Dweck, who was a Stanford University psychologist, and she researched for 30 years uh, this subject. She believed that when people are faced with a, a challenge or a difficult task, that they either have a fixed mindset or they have a growth mindset. Um, a person with fixed mindset believes that their abilities, their talents, their intelligence is a fixed trait, that it's not ever going to increase, um, and they define themselves by their failures. But a growth mindset, um, the people, a person will believe that they are able to grow their intelligence, their abilities, their talents, and they see failures as just merely a setback. I enjoy her class because the, the centers and rotations we have and, and all the growth mindset that we have around the whole door everywhere. In centers we would have a teacher table, computer, Miss Papora, and the library carpet. At Mrs. Beretta's we would bring our iReady notebook and then we would work on our iReady notebook and at the computers. The, one of the main things with my granddaughter is, my granddaughter is visually impaired and she has learned to read whereas we never thought she would be able to. Um, using the equipment that Ms. Beretta has um, worked with the, the, to get her the equipment that she can use to learn and she has learned to read, she has learned to do everything that every other child can do that is sighted and we didn't think that she would ever totally be able to do that. And the patience and the, the love, Ms. Beretta is 100% pure love for every child in her class and it's the love and the compassion she shows for every child that gives them the, the lack of fear to keep going. By impacting students' beliefs about themselves and others, this teacher is unleashing her students' academic power by helping them to tackle challenges with specific strategies. They openly take risks, participate in class, and understand that mistakes are normal when people try hard things. I think it's important to thank and recognize teachers when they do something so phenomenal and make such a big difference for their students. She she was a very kind and nice teacher and she'd been teaching for many years and she deserved that golden apple because she has done good things for the students she's teached and she teaches us to never give up, never give up attitude that we can and that we can never say no to because it's just so kind of her to do that for us. It's the smile that you get, it's that the, a year later they might come up to you and say, do you remember this? It's the smallest things that make a difference in the life of a child. Believing that every child can grow and improve on talents, skills and abilities through hard work and effort is the key to success in this classroom. Teaching grit helps prepare students for the future and to become better leaders. Um, if you combine my years total teaching with my mother and my father's years of service, we've served uh, Collier County Public Schools for 88 years. Being recognized with a golden apple has meant a lot to me. It's, it's a wonderful feeling.